Good morning from Zion National Park. Today is the day we're doing Angels Landing, America's scariest hike. We are parking our car in the visitor center and taking a shuttle into the park. Just going through the scenic drive with the bus was unbelievable. We saw deer, rivers, these mountains are insane. And now we start Angel's Landing. 10 people have died falling from the cliffs on this route. It's really, really windy. The sign over there said, do not do this trail if it's windy. But we're hoping we'll be okay, I think we'll be fine. I don't know why we didn't get ready like we usually do. At least Anna has a hat. Starting to get a bit tough. We're on these concrete paths all the way up. Switchbacks. And there's a ton of people, but you have to enjoy it no matter what. Boom. Look at this canyon. The red cliffs, and then there's a river down there through the middle. You can see the path we just came up right there. Well, we just got up to the chain part of Angel's Landing, so we're getting close to the top, and we just went up 20 switchbacks, no joke. This hike is not for the faint of heart, but I think anyone could do it with some motivation in the morning. People are coming down at the same time, so it's kind of sketchy. This is epic. Look at Anna up there. We're holding on to the chain. It is very scary. Oh my gosh. This chain must be so dirty with people's hands. If you're thinking about COVID. If you're not thinking about COVID, you're thinking about your life. It's not that it's hard, but it is scary. Like I'm frightened. I don't know who decided that this was a good idea. Some people were just coming down and they didn't go to the end of Angel's Landing, so it's kind of scary. People are turning back when they get up here. I do not think this is it, Anne. <laughs> so we thought that that was the hard part. That was the easy part. We just turned the corner and we have to go up this entire mountain with just hanging on to the rope. And I am terrified. I didn't think I was gonna be scared because I'm usually pretty chill and, you know, bad about these things. Not today. One wrong move and you're gone. <laughs> <laughs> Anna is terrified. Oh, I'm gonna throw up. Here's something to think about. How do they know that these rocks aren't just gonna fall? Some of the trails in uh, Zion today are closed because of rock fall. And we're on the edge of a cliff with this chain. This chain's nice, but still. We are almost to the top and it's killing it. We have made it to the top of Angel's Landing. Wood wood! Wood wood! Wood wood! Wood wood! There we go. Once you get up here, it's relaxing. Places to sit down and chill and take in the epic views. I'm gonna say boom. You guys ready? Boom. Look at this. Oh my gosh. You have 360 views all the way around if we go on that edge, but this is unbelievable. You could see the river going through the canyon down there. You could see the road. And then this is Angel's Landing. If you're new to this channel, you probably don't know this, but Ian and I are adrenaline junkies. We love cliff jumping. We've gone bungee jumping. We've done skydiving. We've done all that crazy stuff, but this is a different type of adrenaline because you don't have a bungee. You don't have a parachute. So I would say this is up there with one of the scariest things I've ever done. I'm telling you guys, just be ready to get your adrenaline going. Be scared for your life at some points with the chain. And when you finally get up here, get the best view of Zion possible. made it down from all the chains and everything and it was actually really really easy on the way down i was a little nervous yeah we did it really quickly and it wasn't scary at all maybe i'm just getting confident now too because i just did that so you know how it goes Good morning from our campsite. As you can see, Anna's getting some stuff situated up top. We put our rinse kit portable shower up there along with some food, our hiking shoes, and many more things. Perfect for our little tiny car that we have here. But we're going to Sand Hollow State Park today to go cliff jumping and actually go in some water that's not freezing cold. This whole trip we've been in freezing glacier water up in Wyoming and even in Oregon it was a bit nippy. But we're going with our neighbor over here. We met him, he's from Florida, his name is Nick. We're gonna see how Sand Hollow is a great way to spend your day 
if you're not going to Zion, it's only 40 minutes away. We have made it to San Hollow State Park. Anna and I paid $20 for a vehicle to get in here. If you're from the state of Utah, you could pay $15. Or if you're our friend Nick, he parked outside of San Hollow State Park and walked in for free. Take your options. And now we're about to go cliff jumping for a little bit. But before that, I want to show you what I found at the bottom. So I used my goggles and I went right below the cliff jump and found an Apple Watch. If you lost an Apple Watch here, DM us on Instagram to prove that it's yours. Maybe give us your passcode. Still working, believe it or not. It's a very exciting way to start our day here at San Hollow. All right, Nick's going first. Woo! Look how beautiful this is. You got the red rocks. It's like a small Lake Powell. You got the blue greenish water and no one else around except for tubers and wakeboarders out there. As you saw, Ian found an Apple Watch. Very expensive thing, just like my phone. So before I came over here to uh, cliff jump, I made sure to have my Cali case on, cause one, you can drop your phone. This Cali case is waterproof, but more importantly, it floats. So if I drop it, I know I won't lose it and I know someone won't go find it, like Ian found the Apple Watch. If you guys wanna get yourselves a Cali case, we use it every time we're near water, like cliff jumping when we're near waterfalls or even hiking the narrows tomorrow, we're gonna bring it with us just for a safekeeping for our expensive phones. It's 20% off if you use the code the other side. Go down to the description below and check it out. I'm getting chilly. I'm throwing in the towel for the night. We have a huge hike tomorrow in the Narrows. Guys, wait. Long story short, Ian doesn't like to watch sitcoms. I'm a big sitcom girl. I made him watch Brooklyn Nine-Nine when we were in Southeast Asia. He loved it. Next series, I made him watch The Office. We just started it. We're already on season eight. I know Michael's gone. Ian's obsessed. So every night we curl up in our little van. We watch The Office and Sometimes that's what I look forward to all day. Being by the water and cliff jumping yesterday was great with those white claws especially, but today we're doing another intense hike here in Zion, which is the Narrows. If you're not doing Angel's Landing, you're probably gonna end up doing the Narrows. Both are really famous here, but this one's treading through water and going through these, I would call it a massive slot canyon. We don't know a lot about the Narrows. I know that you can hike them pretty far, so we don't know how far we're gonna go today. That's why we are prepping for dinner just in case. So we embarked on the Narrows Trail around 12.45. We're actually gonna time ourselves because we wanna get back to the bus by six. Final bus leaves at 7.15 and if you are not on that one, they literally leave you and you have to walk eight miles. At first you kind of do like a little river walk and since we're headed towards the water, I'm putting my Cali case on because I have anxiety about my phone dropping in the water. <laughs> It was about 25 minutes to the starting point and the water is 62 degrees Fahrenheit. Not too cold, but yeah, your feet might go numb if you're in regular running shoes like Anna and I. When you come to the Narrows, you can actually rent special equipment, one of those things being water shoes. We've seen them on a lot of people. We'll overlay a picture right here to show you what they look like. We chose to wear our regular sneakers. The rocks are not slippery, so they are working out totally fine and because they're getting wet, they're not as heavy as our hiking shoes would be. I got Anna's bag, don't worry about it. Here comes Anna Claus, yeah. here comes Anna Claus, right down Narrows Lane. Let me tell you the truth. I rarely complain, and I usually love every experience we do. I think this is the most overrated thing I've ever done in my life. If I wanted to walk in cold water for five hours, I would have just gone to my hometown in Cleveland, Ohio. I just think there's tons of people, and it's just a really weird thing to do. I slightly agree with Anna on this one. If you had the rate hikes on enjoyability level, let's say Angel's Landing in this hike, I would put Angel's Landing at 10 or 11 out of 10, and this one at like two or three. I can't feel my feet. I literally 
really can't. I haven't felt them the entire hike. Just be ready for that. Bring extra layers, maybe a salami sandwich to keep your energy levels up, but it is extremely beautiful. Don't get me wrong. This is what I'm doing right now with Anna. We're in like a wind tunnel right now, so it's freezing in the shade. About two hours in, you're probably gonna get to your most favorite part of this hike where it gets really narrow and the water really pops. It's unbelievable. We're on our way back right now. You could probably go much further, but we're good with this, I would have to say. Anna, give me a wood wood. We are back from our hike at the Narrows. You can see in this video, I'm showing you right now, we had to wait an hour to get back on our shuttle bus just to get to our car. It ended up being a lot better than I thought. I know I was a little cynical at first. The further we went down, the less people there were and the more beautiful it got. So I definitely think it was worth it. Before we leave Zion tonight, it's our last day here. We're doing some laundry during the daytime because it is really, really hot out. And then tonight, we are going to do one more hike that's about a mile long and also go through the famous tunnel here. We start to do laundry at a laundromat every seven to 10 days, depending on how dirty laundry has gotten. And uh, this laundry is actually pretty cheap. It only ran us $4.50 for both the washer and the dryer, but it can be anywhere from five to $10. We're about to begin the Canyon Overlook Trail. I wanna tell you guys that if you're in a rush and you're coming to Zion National Park, I swear just paying for the scenic drive is worthwhile. It is outstanding. It's definitely the best scenic drive in any national park we've been to before. I disagree. I thought Arches National Park had a more beautiful scenic drive, so to each their own. And then if you have a little bit more time, I really, really suggest doing Angel's Landing instead of the Narrows. Of course, it's totally up to preference and your bucket list. The Canyon Overlook Trail was super quick. It's an incredible view. Definitely check it out if you're in Zion, but just another warning, it is just as crowded as anything else here, so keep that in mind. We're gonna head back down and get some Taco Bell. <laughs> we ended up getting $1 chicken tacos at Del Taco. When it gets late like this, we either go to Taco Bell or Del Taco or any fast food with a dollar menu. If you guys got any value out of this video whatsoever, give it a thumbs up, comment down below what you thought. Definitely reach out to us on Instagram. We love talking to everyone through there. It's the easiest way for us. We'll see you in the next one. Next time on the other side. In this video, we're gonna be exploring the Grand Canyon National Park. There's one huge thing that's making this trip to the Grand Canyon very special for Anna and I, it's because it's fall. We were just driving and I was like, oh my God, oh my God, bison. I had no idea the Grand Canyon bison. Look at that.